Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great day. I am at a park that is close by the water here. I didn't I decided to go over there because the wind was really pretty strong and I just didn't think it would really get too good for the audio. So today I just want to talk about a few things and one of the things I've been doing with this is kind of just t talking off of my own life experience and things that are happening and things that I'm processing throughout my day and I think that's just kind of a great way to uh, do these videos uh, because it shows that there is a process of how to get inside of yourself and look at yourself and that kind of stuff. So one of the things that happened today is I, I actually got referred to on a comment as a new age fluffer, which made me laugh a little bit actually. But it, the attack on the new age movement cracks me up. It, I think it's like one of the funniest things possible. Now there is a group of people in the new age community that are not grounded. There is a difference between that. But what I found is that people attack and they have zero idea what the movement is all about. Now, if you are a person that believes that there's a savior coming, that there's a Jesus coming, or that there is a um, there is a alien coming or somebody coming to save you, um, then you're probably mistaken. I, I mean, I, I, it's okay that you believe that, except that you're believing in something that's outside of yourself. And so remember, it says in Genesis, it says that we are made in God's image, meaning that um, we all have the capability of doing what God has. And it even says that with, uh, if you had the faith that was in a mustard seed, you could say to a mountain, move from here to there. So meaning that you have the power to save yourself. Yeah, and, and interesting enough, you don't even really need saving. There is, there is a journey that we're on that we're here to process and get through. And there is uh, there's antagonists that are out there to help us get, get to that place. So even this, per this comment becomes an antagonist for me to stay in my empowered state. So it's interesting. What I will tell you is that internet trolls and people that are mind controlled or are trying to mind control you, they literally try to push their truth on you. Instead of saying, hey, that's cool that that's your truth. That's just not how I see it. You know, however, this is how I see it and have a discussion with you. They use very passive aggressive uh, uh, tactics to basically force you into seeing their, their, see, their seeing the way they see it. And uh, there, of course, I'm uh, one of the people on uh, Stillness in the Storm, and Stillness in the Storm actually tells, uh, hits a lot of buttons, and that's kind of what our job is. And, and so we just put out a lot of different things for people to see, and you have to choose what is right for you. So interesting enough, it, it, so what, people get triggered, and then they, they will tell you, no, 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 that's not the way, and you're mind controlled, and they start pointing their finger at you. So you gotta remember, one finger pointing out in judgment, you got three pointing back at yourself. And you have to start looking at this because it doesn't mean that there are bad people. It means that there is, right at that point in time, they are trying to push their agenda, with their own limitations on you. And you know you're doing the right thing because literally they are, um, you're hitting their buttons and they're, they're trying to push back, so to speak. So one of the things I wanted to read to you is I was reading through, I'm reading through the proof of my uh, book and this is the second release of it. Um, so it's not quite out yet. It will be out soon. So it's, uh, probably hard to see here with the sun, but it's called Peace Be Still. And um, I'm in the chapter of Declare and Know Who You Are. It's page 104 and it says, one thing I have definitely realized through my soul journey is the universe moves easily for, uh, for one who is confident, but also humble. This is well said in the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse seven, where it says, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Let us take a moment to review this because meek does not mean weak. So what I'm saying here is that it's okay to be humble and you are uh, to, to walk in and be humble. Sometimes it's okay to be quiet and not say anything. And sometimes it's okay to pick your battles and walk away. The, the, the meek will inherit the earth. Why? Because they didn't get bought into the contract of being in this duality consciousness that says, I have to be in an argument with you. And, and blessings to the people that become my antagonists so that it challenges me to keep stay in what I practice, what I preach is being peaceful and not being being the stillness in the storm and not getting pulled in this direction or pulled in that direction and being bought into other people's truths. My truth is my truth. It comes from my heart. It comes from where I'm uh, where I'm at, where I'm centered. And when I when I'm not in center, I have to look at the truth and I have to go there and I have to get, dig deep deeper down inside of myself. And it's interesting because um, I, I just laugh because they will literally try to use passive aggressive. It's called hooking. They literally try to hook you, or bait and switch, or fish. You know, they they um, send out the tether or the line to hook you in and draw you in. They're like, say, hey, come in here and uh, be pissed off with me, and then they they end it with love and light. I think that's the most hysterical thing in the world. They are probably are a very loving and uh, great person, 
but you can feel the anger in them when this happens because you can feel the anger in me when it happens. Why is it so important? Because I've been that person. I've been that person. I've been an internet troll. I've been the one person with my sarcasm uh, trying to cut other people down. And why do I know that? Because when my sarcasm comes in, it means it's something that I don't want to look at. It doesn't mean it's necessarily true. It just hit my limitation. So uh, this is something you have to think of. There is humor and humor is good. And I love to laugh and have fun. But I just want you to start thinking about the fact that uh, sometimes we need to stop and look at our sarc sarcasm. Is it a part passive aggressive tactic to get people to pay attention to us? Because we don't always need to be paid attention to. Sometimes we need to be doing the ones paying attention. Sometimes we need to listen. And sometimes we need to seek first to understand and then to be understood. And so what I do know is this, that everybody has their truth. Everybody is on this journey. And because they're on this journey, they are discovering themselves on a deeper level. It's we are like that onion, as they say in um, um, Shrek. And he's saying an ogre is like an onion. You peel back and you know all the layers and you keep on getting more and more. You're like that. You have all these layers that you have to uh, start layering back. There is nothing wrong with you. Uh, it just means that's a part of the journey. It's part of the journey of awakening. Let's not get uh, caught up on the terms here, but let's look at the fact that, you know, we do live in a three-dimensional space here. And in this three-dimensional space, we have terms. We don't want to be attached to those terms. We don't want to be uh, held on to these terms because if we get attached to them, then they become dogmatic. And when we become dogmatic, we become stuck. We become limited. So let's just start looking at these things and realize, be confident in who you are. Be that light of the world because people are going to tear you, try to tear you down. They're going to try to use their truth. They're going to say it's love and light. They're going to, they're going to um, try to come to you and say, no, 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 what you're saying is wrong. You're mind controlled. They're going to say all that. But if you know in your heart, if you know what you're saying is true, then keep going. It's like the attacks on uh, Corey Good right now. I, I got to meet him and I mentioned this in my interview for Stillness in the Storm. I got to meet him last month and I didn't really know a whole lot about him. What I, what I te will tell you, and plane's coming over so I'm going to stop speaking for a second. It is kind of cool watching it go over though. That's really just really awesome. But anyways, I will tell you this. I didn't know a whole lot about him. What I found is a very compassionate, loving, caring guy. And, and so all the stuff, the attacks out there are a bunch of bullshit. I mean, it's, here's the truth. It just tells me that Corey is doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. He's doing his job, he's pushing buttons, and he's telling the truth. Why? Because there's people out there that are pushing back and saying, no, 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 that's not the way it is. Because those people are in resistance to flow, in resistance to the flow out there and it's because they don't want to see the truth in themselves it may not be Corey's truth it may not be what he's teaching however if they're trying to judge him and criticize him and tear him down it means they're not looking at themselves there's an old saying i love this i was taught by my teacher if you're busy judging another person then who's pruning your garden and so if you're out there if you're out there judging and dealing with other pre people and and their stuff then somebody else is sitting in here in your garden and they're t attending to it and guess what that's what the people that are in the duality mind control, the people causing the mind control, the Illuminati or whatever the hell you want to call it, they want that. They feed off of you. The, uh, the Archons or the Lush or whatever they refer to, they feed off the fact that you're out so busy arguing and trying to prove everybody else wrong. They're out there in your garden cluttering it up and shitting on it and you don't even know because you're so busy damn uh, you're so busy trying to be damn fucking right and and so instead of getting your ass inside of yourself sitting down and being peaceful find your own truth find your own truth find your own truth and stop worrying about what everybody else is doing and when when you get that truth you start speaking it you start telling it and you start talking about it because if you the interesting part is if you start practicing self-awareness and you start getting inside of yourself as you start finding your own truth nobody will be able to mind control you nobody and the reason being is because you'll know what, what is uh, bullshit and not bullshit you'll have discernment why because spirit will be working through you not the savior spirit your spirit the one inside of you it will be working through you and it'll tell you mm -mm, don't pay attention to that that's a bunch of bullshit don't look at it, move on, let it go, love, compassion, synergy, and move, non-judgment, go forward. And that's where we're at right now. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Love you guys. Peace.